Hey guys, this is Chris with Moto Photo Adventures and uh, we just got back from riding the Trans America Trail, about 5,000 miles of crazy off-road adventuring. And uh, we also have just done the South Carolina Adventure Route, which is an amazing trail. And I'm getting ready to do another adventure. And I just wanted to let you guys know a couple of tips on how to keep safe and make sure that you check a few things on your bike before you go off on a trip. Uh, so first thing you should always do, of course, is check your tire pressure. You know, when you're in a car, you have four tires. I always keep my handy dandy little tire pressure gauge here. Uh, so if one of them goes a little bit flat in a car, it's not a big deal, but on a motorcycle, you know, your tires are, <laughs> it's like a thin line between death and fun. So you should always check the air pressure in your tire, especially because uh, the performance of your bike and um, the uh, longevity of your tire are all affected by the tire pressure right on the money. I try to check my tire pressure about every two weeks, so it, it stays pretty consistent, which is nice. Another thing I always recommend before you head out on a trip is to always check your fluid levels. Uh, those are pretty important. Um, right down here I've got my sight glass. I can check my oil. It is right at the top line there. We uh, just changed that out. You might have seen our video, I'll link to it above, this, the video on uh, changing the water pump. Um, so we just changed the oil, so that's brand new oil there. And then the other thing you always want to check is your coolant level. Ooh, way up in there is the uh, coolant level. And the last thing I always check is my chain tension. That's a really important piece. You can really do a lot of damage to the bike and get yourself in a really bad accident if you have the chain tension on your bike off too much. Mine's off by a little bit. It's just stretched out a little bit. The uh, gears have gotten a little bit worn. So uh, I'm going to just adjust it real quick before we go on this trip. That's a pretty easy process. You just want to uh, loosen your axle bolt. Loosen the locking nut on your chain. Adjuster. All right, once the lock nuts are loose, you just tighten this up. Make sure. Everything is properly aligned. There you go. Make sure both sides are even. Tighten your lock bolts back. And tighten your axle back. All right. So that's it. Those are three quick things that you can check before you take off on any adventure without even getting your fingers dirty and uh, gives you a much safer ride so you don't have to worry about any mishaps on the road. All right, now, in case you guys are wondering what that cool little tool was that we used for calibrating and checking my chain, it's by a company called BPA Racing. It's called the Chain Slack Adjuster Tool. And it is a cool little device. I love it because it saves me a lot of time. Once you've got it calibrated, it makes checking your chain tension super easy. It's small and compact, extremely durable. I just throw it in my tank bag and carry it along with my uh, other tools. It's awesome. It just makes the whole thing super simple and super fast. It's nice to know that I don't need a ruler, don't need a block of wood or a piece of plastic to hold it with. Once you have it calibrated, you're all set. You don't have to ever do it again. Now here's a cool fact about the chain slack adjuster tool. It's already trusted by 12,000 riders all across the United States. That's pretty impressive since you can barely get riders to agree on anything anymore. Oh, 
Yes, there are other ways that you can adjust your chain, but none of them are completely 100% accurate and repeatable. Uh, so you do have issues with getting it exactly correct. You can use the old three finger method or the, the wooden block method or the metal block method, but they're not completely accurate and they're not nearly as fast. So it's just kind of a waste of time. The tool just allows you to speed that process up and make it more accurate. And the cool thing about the chain slack adjuster tool is you only have to set it once. Once you've got it calibrated, you just pop it on, check your chain, and you're done. It makes the whole process 75% faster. Plus, it's mess-free and easy to use. You don't have to worry about greasy, oily chain stuff all over your fingers. And there's no need to ask for your friends to help you. You can do it all by yourself. Now, making sure the chain is properly adjusted prolongs the life of your bike's parts. Not only does it prolong the life of your chain and sprockets, but it might actually save yours. It's also backed by an ironclad 30-day money-back satisfaction guarantee. If for any reason you're not happy with it, just send it back. Just remember to take it off your chain when you're done calibrating before you ride off. I'm Chris with Motofoto Adventures and that's the BPA Chain Slack Adjuster Tool.